Commodity barn here, it's equipped with seven bays for feeding various byproduct feeds. Uh, generally, the feeds that we're utilizing right now are ground corn, soy, uh, soybean hulls, soybean meal, and amino plus. And we also purchase brewer's grain from Anheuser-Busch. They're, they're the main byproduct feeds or, or feeds that we, that we put into the commodity barn. The bays are designed to hold a semi-truck load so we can buy in bulk uh, and we can also have some abilities to contract uh, ahead a little bit. For our, our feeding system, we use a, a program called Feed Supervisor. And so the program is set up in the tractor where the students plug in the diet that they are feeding and it will give them the ingredient and the amount of that ingredient needed to be added to the mixer wagon. When all the ingredients have been added to the mixer, uh, we start a mixing process of about 10 minutes. Uh, at the completion of 10 minutes, we feel that the diet has been blended thoroughly, the hay has been processed to the lengths that we want, and then the feed is delivered. Uh, so the commodity barn allows for obviously large storages of, of feed, some financial benefits to contract ahead if prices are low, uh, protects against the weather um, and I guess another nice thing is there's no electricity to get the feed out so in really bad situations we at least can can get to feed uh, we're not tied to some auger or some other system like that um, so that's kind of how this is all set up as we go down here we added a hay barn onto the end of the commodity barn over in this area we now have alfalfa hay, and around the corner we've got some brome hay that we use for the, for the dry cow diets. Uh, so everything is fairly centrally located. Back over this way, we constructed some small commodity bays for the various premixes that, that we feed. Uh, but we found it's actually cheaper for us to use the open, open bay and buy it in bulk rather than put it, putting it in a grain bin. And so we just label uh, the various ingredients within that. Everything is then mixed into this feed wagon. Feed is added into here. And obviously the idea is to create a, a total mixed ration that's uh, well blended. The student will then deliver that feed, pull back over here, set themselves up for the next, next diet. We also feed a lot of haylage in our diet. And these white ag bags behind us here are, are the main storage facility for those. Uh, they've been very effective in, in being able to put up the alfalfa in a more timely manner, higher quality. In Missouri, it's really tough to uh, sometimes get dry hay put up the way we want to. Uh, and so haylage gives us an opportunity to, to harvest some of that alfalfa in a more timely fashion. Um, another part of our byproducts, you can see Anheuser-Busch supplies us with, with brewer gra brewer's grain. When we get it in bulk, where it's just dumped out in the pile, we just can't feed it fast enough to keep it fresh enough. And so when they started delivering it, stored in the bags already, uh, it, it sure cut down on, on the waste uh, on the brewer's grain. We do feed twice a day, morning, morning and afternoon. We feed about 30% uh, of the uh, requirements for the mor at the morning feeding and about 70% of the diet in the afternoon feeding.